Okay, this is a great question. Thank you for asking this. So um, when you look up energy cords, you're gonna find a lot of information about cutting cords. And so this is where my teachings differ a little bit because sometimes um, you do wanna remove some cords, but that really involves like um, sort of like pulling cords rather than just cutting cords and kind of healing the places um, within your body where you feel them. So I want to give you a little bit of an energy reading right now and then I wanna give you a basis of knowledge that you can kind of just use rolling in the right direction moving forward that's really going to benefit you so in your question um i'm sensing a little bit of fear okay and it's understandable because again i understand most of the things about um energy cords that you find online are going to be about cutting cords but here's the thing um there's nothing to be afraid of okay your fear will actually um sort of like feed a cord unwanted and negative things so let's say you have an energy cord to something or some energies around you and so that's not really something to fear but more something to um, manipulate in your favor okay so if you want to feed something love or if you want to feed something um like like um getting away from you okay and i'm doing my best to use the right words because this is very mental um you know a lot of your mental imagery and the way you think is going to affect these cords so um energy cords aren't all bad just understand that you do have um sovereign control over your reality over your energy and so some information i think would be beneficial to you and anyone else wondering is having a solid meditation practice this doesn't have to be grueling and um miserable like if you do 10 minutes a day just the consistency is what's going to help you discern what's your energy and what's someone else's energy and let's say that's not your problem you have no problem discerning what is and isn't yours um what you want to do is really practice fortifying your aura okay and um i don't want to overwhelm you with information so i'm kind of just going to leave you at this with this so um aside from just meditation as a practice so you can start energy balls as a practice okay um and you can look that up or you can ask me a question and i can make a new video on it and um another thing is practice fortifying your aura and so there is a bundle of nerves at the roof of your mouth and so i want you to you know sit in meditation and press your tongue against the roof of your mouth breathing in and out through the nose okay and you're going to sense this line going down the front of your body okay all the way down to the back to the base of your spine and then it's going to go up your spine okay all the way up your spine up your neck up your skull and then right back to the roof of your mouth and so i i can go sorry it's my two-year-old and so there's a line of energy and you putting your tongue right there is um creating a circuit and so this is how you fortify your energy it's also called the microcosmic orbit if that's something you want to look up but it's also just a really good visual for meditation so what happens is over time you're going to be more in control of your own energy okay you'll be less um likely to be like a sponge when it comes to energies around you yeah and um you're also going to have like a greater influence on the things that happen around you so like if i were in a room with someone who was just really problematic okay i can i can stretch my energy to fill that room and it might feel um you know overwhelming for the person that uh you know i just want to get up out of my space also work on your self-concept okay um i want to speak on the importance of um how safe you feel obviously trust your intuition trust your gut but also don't be feeling like um you have no control or like just feel like you know some sovereign like like your self-concept is just 
Yeah. You know, you don't want to feel like you're a victim to other people's energy all the time, especially if you're like in a service based industry. You don't want to feel like um, you're constantly having to ward off unwanted things. And it kind of just becomes a second nature, a thing where you don't have to think about it unless somebody is like really coming for you. And then um, you can kind of resort back to that mental trick of like telepathy, telling them, you know, you need to go, you need to go. And that you need to go becomes your mantra until it happens. So yeah, um, again, I don't want to overwhelm you. If you want to follow my YouTube, I'm going to list it here, Alexis Alchemical. Now that I know you guys are interested in energy work, um, I'm definitely going to be posting more detailed stuff on my YouTube. I got to go because my two-year-old's feral and being insane. So I love you all, and I really hope this helps. If you have any more questions, leave them below.